Hello, India. Mickey and I are thrilled to get a chance to speak to you again, and what a great time to do it. January is over. You've made your resolutions, and some of you have given up on them already, so we are not going to talk about resolutions. Before we get there, I would like to assess where you are at today in the business. Is your business down or is it up? Are you struggling with the concept of physical meetings versus online meetings? Are you saying there are no prospects? Or do you feel there is an abundance of prospects? Are you struggling with your business or is your business booming? Are you struggling with signups or do you feel anybody is willing to sign up because this business is now so easy? Do you feel the business is not what you expected? Or do you feel the business has all the potential and even more? than when you first thought when you joined. It doesn't matter where you are in terms of your mindset. The word you must understand is restart. Restart from today. The past is not important. You know, the quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty that you can comfortably live with. Tony Robbins said that and it's, it's so powerful, isn't it? In order to grow in any area of your life, including your business, you must cross the threshold of your comfort zone. It's about expanding what you're comfortable being uncomfortable with. Now, isn't that a mouthful? And isn't that tough to comprehend? But it's so easy as a concept, isn't it? Right? There is never any growth in your comfort zone. So get ready to be uncomfortable, to do those things that you've got to do. But you know what? <coughs> Before anything else, you've got to believe in this business. And I've written that as my number one point. You know, what can this business do for you in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of travel, but more importantly, in terms of other serendipities? Donan, Sala, Cox, all of these are great names in this business. But what did they get out of it? You know, Jim Donan talks about paying 436 years of his salary as income tax in one year of his life. 436 years of your salary, if you pay as income tax somewhere in the future, 5, 10, 15 years down the line, wouldn't you have a wonderful income? Wow. You know, I was impressed with Jim Donan's yacht, which he refurbished for, I don't know, 1.7 or 1.8 million dollars. <throat> I was impressed with the landscaping of his house, which almost cost him a million dollars. And yet you and I are worried about what is the scope of this business for us? The scope is amazing. Trust me, right? Mitsala talks about the business and the benefits it's given him and he lives in the house of his dreams and it is such a beautiful house that he says i wouldn't want to move anywhere else is exactly where i am is exactly where i want to live and yet he talks about buying a second home what he calls a mini donan home and when he goes to the agent and the agent says you know how will you be able to pay for it and he says will cash do I've been saving for months. Man, that tickles my funny bone. No end, you know. Wouldn't you like to have an income like that where you can buy a house by saving for months? But Mitsala said something else which really impressed me. He said, I decided to make this business my only source of income. And as a result of that decision, <clears throat> today I have a share portfolio which would be the envy of most professional shareholders holders. He says, today I have a real estate portfolio, which would be the envy of most investing real estate people. And that is the sort of life that is possible. If you forget everything else and make this your primary source of income. Peter Cox talks about spending $350,000 on the landscaping of his house and he kept spending tons of money maintaining it. That the pool that he had, unbelievable, right? Uh, he's now moved to Queensland because the weather there suits him better. And 
those are the options you and I have. You know, what these great people have achieved before us, you and I can start achieving. <laughs> right? So the question is, why did you join the business? You know, you had a set of dreams back then. You wanted some things back then. Some of those dreams are tarnished, maybe. Some of those dreams, <laughs> you're beginning to doubt whether you can achieve them through this business. So when you want to restart, start writing down 101 dreams. Normally we say 100. Why did I add the extra one? Because ek so ek shagun mana jata hai. Fir se likho. And that'll be a great start to 2024. Ek so ek sapno ki suchi. The second thing I want you to start thinking of is to believe in yourself. And it's so easy to lose belief in ourselves. You know, when I joined the business, I saw so many other people who were smarter than me, who spoke better than me, who dressed better than me, <clears throat> who had businesses bigger than mine. And I kept thinking, maybe I'm not able to build this business. But I stuck it out. Stuck it out in those months where I was not really doing the work and therefore not achieving the results. But that's difficult for anyone to accept, isn't it? And I needed a tough upline like mine to sort of let me know that, hey, if you don't do the work, you won't get what you want. But believe you can be a diamond and you will. When Mickey and I came to India, we thought we'd go diamond in the first six months, but we did not. And it took us much longer <coughs> than we anticipated. But we stuck it out because we had belief that we could be a diamond and you can be a diamond too, you know? The reason most of us give up on our dreams or give up on ourselves is, is very simple. I think we keep uh, listening to all the talk around us, to the negativity of the friends, of the relatives, or of people whom we discuss this business with. Not important, but unfortunately, that's where we end up. Have you uh, heard of the eagle and the crow? You know, the eagle is a majestic bird and it's strong and it's powerful and can soar very high. And there is the humble crow who's stupid enough to sort of sit on the eagle and peck at it. Now, the eagle can have many responses to get rid of this pest. But you know what it does? It does not do anything to the crow, but simply spreads his wing and begin to soar. And as it soars higher and higher, the air gets rarer. And at one stage, the crow simply can't breathe and falls off. And that's what you've got to do when you want to be a diamond. As these negative comments surround you, start soaring, start succeeding in this business, start earning money, go on foreign trips, all free because of the work you've done. And as you soar higher and higher, those negative crows in your life will just fall off. And some of them will actually become your friends. Some of them will actually build the business. And so keep this in your mind. You are the eagle and the crows will choose to peck at you, but don't let them affect you. Simply spread your wings and fly. Sold out to this business, not letting distractions deter you from your dreams, you know. Sold out is a state of mind. This is where you are even before you start working or commit to this business. If your state of mind is such that you want to make the Amway business your number one source of income, then the other things that I'm going to talk about will fall into place. It's all about priority. Prioritizing this business means that you will, that you will first block out time slots for this business. You will figure out the dates of the LOS or Network 21 meetings, any meetings that your upline is doing, and then be available to attend and take notes. That's what prioritizing means. And that's what it's all about. Remember, Peter Cox gave up first class football to focus on Amway. Sold out. Peter also chose not to play golf, his dream sport, till he was a diamond. Sold out. 
Bob Andrews declined a free honeymoon package and all expenses paid because he thought it would affect his business. Maybe it wouldn't have, but he was sold out. Jim Donan gave up a lucrative recruiting business earning well over $20,000 per month when he was not an emirate. Today, he would be earning 10 or 20 times that figure all because he was sold out and chose to prioritize this business. We sold our home and business in Australia and moved to India to be an Amway diamond. Do you think we were sold out? Four frontline platinum and above legs sold out to the business and to us. 21 platinums and above in depth sold out to the business and us. Four downline emeralds sold out to the business and us. You want to be big in this business? Sell out to your dreams. No doubts, no confusion. Decide to make this business your number one source of income. And after Founders Emerald, your only source of income. And see how you grow in this business. You all have years in your life. How many of you have life in your years? <coughs> That's what we've experienced in these past 25 odd years in India. You know, character is doing those things you know you need to do to accomplish your goals and dreams long after the mood in which you made the commitment has passed. Long after the mood in which you made the commitment has passed. It's so easy to simply say, wow, I love the business. I'm going diamond. And then the work hits you in the face, isn't it? That's when character comes in. You're going to do it anyway because your dreams matter to you. This business requires time. Are your dreams worth the investment of that time? What are you willing to give up now to have the life of your dreams later? This business is a mind game or an attitude game. Therefore, dreams are important. What are your dreams? Is it something to do with money as in earn enough money not to have to worry about the credit card bills you have to settle every month, earn enough money to live in the house of your dreams, earn enough money to travel whenever you wish to? Or like Jim Doran said, how about traveling one week every month, you know, work three weeks, take a holiday for a week. Wouldn't that be lovely for you and your family? Flying business class, first class or private jet. Could that be a dream for you? Time with family. Maybe that's a dream you really want, isn't it? Right? Uh, I mean, money is, is just a facilitator. If you have enough money, a lot of problems can be solved. But don't get me wrong. Without money, a lot of problems tend to crop up too. So maybe money is one of your goals just as it was mine. You know, I make no apologies for that because I learned long ago that an airline doesn't give you a ticket if you don't part with your money. A hotel doesn't give you a room if you don't give them money. You can't even buy clothes or food if you don't have money. So yes, that could be an important dream for you, right? But the question is, what is your dream? How emotional are you about it? And how willing are you to put time into achieving your dreams? Have you ever had emotional ups and downs? Today you're going diamond, the next day you want to quit this business. You know, commitment to continuity de develops emotional stability. Robert Schuller said that, you know, consistency is the building block of all trust. So are you consistent in your dreams and your activities about this business? You know, if you are, then you know, the first thing about this business, if you want to succeed in this business is your why. You know, what is important to you? The, you can start with a goal for activity and results. You know, make a game plan with your active upline. You know, a dream is a someday goal. Someday I will have the house of my dreams, you know. Uh, but you need a long-term goal as part of that dream. So number two, long-term goal is the next three years. You could be a founder's emerald. What can I do in the next three years if I'm earning 40, 50 lakhs a year by then, you know? And then how much can I visualize of growth? A medium term goal would be a one year goal. You know, platinum could be a very decent 12 month goal. What's the one thing 
you will sort of isolate as most important to you to be achieved in the next one year. You know, that's where you sort of start. But you must break that one year goal down into monthly goals. You know, because if you don't sort of uh, map it out, then then there is an issue because you can get distracted, you know. Uh, and that monthly goal should become number five, a weekly goal. You know, one thing that you've got to do this week to ensure your dreams come true. And then based on that weekly goal, you have a daily goal, which are your daily deliberate actions to achieve all of the five things above, you know. And and we've been taught that this business is so simple, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I was told, make a list, invite the people, show them the plan, sell them the products, and sell them some tools. You know, list, invite, show the plan, sell products, sell tools. Can it become easier than that? Seriously, besides the dream, these are the five things that you've got to do, you know. Make a list of everybody who's in your phone, you know. Make an Excel sheet if you wish. Write it out on a, a notebook if you wish. Whatever you choose to. But don't let it be in your mind because that doesn't work, you know. And we've seen it, right? Uh, number seven, I've written over here. Right now, ask yourself, am I wasting time by doing anything else than that which takes me to the land of my dreams? This is a superb question and can help eliminate a lot of wasted time. Affirmations are important if you do this business. You know, uh, one, one diamond, I heard him say, everybody joins me. And he kept repeating that. And people sort of said, no, this is a numbers game. There is always a ratio of people who join you. And he says, don't get into my mind. Everybody joins me. So that is a sort of a lie he kept telling himself so that he was positive when he talked to people. Maybe that's your affirmation. You know, be core. Pace setter sets the example. Make it a habit to have one new prospect to every functions. One prospect every week to the previews. And wow, you'll get a roaring business. Number two, forget the past while planning your business. Number one was on the dream or the why. Number two, forget the past while planning your business. You can learn from your past, but don't let poor performance limit you or bog you down. Number three, expect great things. You know, we all go through patches when we don't get results. We do a lot of work, but don't get compensated for that work. Like Ray Keller, he had the whole village no-show on him, and then he got angry, and, and of course, he got tremendous results after that. <coughs> Before we connect with the basics, be core and pace setter every month. But do you have a playlist of the audios? Have you listened to the audios and recorded what you've listened, written down? Do you have a list of what you've shared and with whom you've shared so that you can follow up? You know, the seven steps of core have got to be adhered to like a religion. You know, you've got to have them ingrained in you, you know, sleeping, waking whatever, constantly you are core, you know. Uh, the seven steps are so simple and yet they can lead you to a fantastic business. But it's a decision that you've got to make, you know. Number one is show the plan 15 times a month. You can do less, but that's practice. 15 times a month is where you start getting results. Uh, number two is be a 100% user. When I say 100%, I mean 100, not 99.99. If there's a product being used, it must be from your business and not somebody else's business. Uh, it's like, you know, we talk about being pregnant. Either you are or you are not. You can't be 99% pregnant. Uh, so you've got to be a 100% user and you've got to be a 100% core. Step three, of core, is 10 customers. And uh, it's very difficult to build a huge business uh, if you just have to keep on buying the products even when you don't need them. So after you've finished your 100% user, you need volume from these 10 customers. 
And it is very easy to start developing customers if you're showing 15 plans a month. Uh, if one in three is joining you, then 10 become your customers every month. And when you have a bank of 30, 40, 50 customers, 10 will buy at any given time. But nowadays, people have huge uh, results from customers. And uh, typically, you can end up with a 1,000 PV from customers. So it's it's boom time from that angle. Uh, deliveries are very easy. Just order, put in the address, and products are delivered to the customer. They pay you online. And you can sort of sit at home and do all these volumes, you know. Uh, <clears throat> listen to an audio every day. That's very important to keep your mindset positive. At least one, I say, typically, uh, I listen to five, but three to five, maybe two. I don't know where you want to start, but minimum one a day, right? Read 15 minutes of a recommended book every day. You know, that really gets gets you thinking about your future. And it, it's something that you can learn from because you sort of think it's coming from you. There's no third party forcing you to do things, you know, so minimum 15 minutes a day. And it, it really, all leaders are readers. And if you want to be a leader, then of course, you know, that's where you want to be, right? And uh, attend all functions. And when I say all, it means all. And uh, that's number six. And number seven is be a team player, uh, which means that you discuss your business plan with your mentor or upline, uh, which means, uh, I mean, that's we call what we call counseling. Uh, you learn the principle of edification and edify both upline and downline. And of course, uh, make sure that you do not discuss this business with people who don't profit from you, which means no cross-lining. And if you just follow these seven simple steps, religiously, determined, nothing can come between you and being core, then base seller will be an easy goal for you. And when that duplicates right through your team, wow, will you have a good business. So start with 100 names, 100 days. You know, you can do a personal LC every four months. That could be a, a decent goal for you, right? When you have three LC groups or teams, you will be what we call an executive leaders club or a BBI in Amway parlance. And uh, BBIs get huge extra income simply because of the structure that they've created. And you can check with the person who invited you here today to explain uh, BBI to you, right? And uh, <clears throat> it's bronze builder incentive if, if the term is confusing, but it's 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 just more money in your pocket, you know. Uh, you can be a silver in six to 12 months, you know. Daily deliberate actions, daily deliberate core, every single day, every single day. You will end up with 20 bonus teams. You'll be a silver, but keep sponsoring. You know, in the next 18 to 20 months, you'll be a platinum. You can set up for emerald and then diamond. You know, sometimes I like to make things simple, connect with two, call two prospects, one plan per day. You know, it, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it takes some planning to ensure that this happens every day. Number six, I've written mental toughness. Uh, this business has never been physically tough. But mentally, it can get to you, you know. And uh, you can be tired, but still show the plan. You know, Mitsala is the master of this business in that sense. And there's a s audio from him called Mental Toughness. And, you know, I, I listen to it and, and really get fired up with that, you know. What I decided to do was to listen to every audio available to me on Network 21 Mobile and share it with people in my team, uh, new prospects, whoever, you know, don't be an expert. Duplication sets you free. So when I'm asked a question which is available on an audio, I suggest that they listen to that audio or share that audio with them. And, and in the current scenario, sharing is like included in, the co in your monthly cost. So it's very, very easy to share. Most of us are not sharing enough. And, and there's so much power in this thing called sharing and therefore duplication. 
wow, there's freedom in that. And, and some of us are not valuing that freedom or using that, that tool for ourselves. Uh, number seven, I've written, play the numbers game. You know, we say this is a numbers game. Numbers work in, in certain quantities. Too many of us recruit one or two people and are devastated when one of them goes wrong. You know, you can't lead what you need. You've got to live by your calendar, not your emotions. So keep on showing the plan. Keep on recruiting the people. And when you have about 20 new people, you know that you've done the right thing and you'll find a few good leaders. When you get 20 such people to a function, that's when your business really starts. That's when you start evaluating your business and not before that, you know. Uh, Follow ABC. You know, my wife always uses these acronyms. Always be contacting. Always be contacting. You know, you never stop that process, you know, because they always told us back in the beginning, uh, the biggest diamond has not yet joined the business yet. And if you're not contacting, you'll miss out on the biggest diamond. You know, Peter says he who shows the highest number of plans wins. And we are not talking small money now. You know, we're talking of crores of rupees, potentially, if you start committing to this business. But let's start committing for the next 12 months, you know. How hard will you work? How many plans will you show? Minimum is 15. There's no end to the maximum. I know people who do 10 plans a day, you know. Uh, we've done 140 plans a month. But we've never had to do it consistently or for long, you know. A couple of months, three months, four months, and, and you set up a business which will sort of see you through to any goal you want. And at any given time, you can recreate the structure to get 20 more people joining you. You know? So the question then is, what are your dreams? What are you going to do to achieve your dreams? Will you do the work? Will you be at the very top? Five years from now, there's going to be A70. It's important that you go diamond and we can all walk on the beaches of the world together. Thank you. Thank you, Kushro.